Welcome back to Biomutant, everyone. Jason here, and this game is so awesome. So in the last episode, we got through the tutorial. We met the guy in the wheelchair, and he knew us when we were a baby. So now this is a flashback of when we were a baby. Baby Biomutant. So let's see what is going on. This is what happened to us when we were very small. I think this is the guy in the... Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this stud. <laughs> Look at those mutton chops. Asks if you were tired, as it's a bit of a hike here from the village. He wonders if your Mooma knows you are here. I hope I told her. You're such a good child, so you probably did. Even the young forget. Sounds like Elvis. He understands why you came all the way out here to see them, the potato people. The potato people. The potato people, or Nono, are a wonder somehow interlinked with this little tree here, fueling its source of life. <laughs> You might be right. Like potatoes, they're packed with energy, an excellent source of key. Okay. <laughs> the Nono prefer to hide in glitter grass. He says you should get over there and ruffle it. See if you can make one come out of hiding. Okay, so we're going to... You're, you're literally sending me a little... Look at this. I'm up to his knee. <laughs> I mean, this dude is not gonna. Yo, know, come on. Does not make sense. Let's go. Yeah, well, I guess let's go ruffle up some potato uh, animals. I like how when you run, you're on all fours because you can run faster. I feel like I could run faster on all fours if I was able to run that way. Like, you know, two feet, you uh, you can run a certain speed, but if you had four, you could run twice as fast, right? I think it makes sense in my brain, at least. That's why dogs can run so fast. What am I supposed to do here? Oh! I just showed up. Found one. You should be proud. They don't come out for everyone. The Nono's key energy is just what the Pensai needs to complete its cycle and grow into a tree of life. Will it grow strong enough? Only time will tell. At least his intention is to dedicate his life to it. He has the feeling the fate of the world depends on it. You need to support the tree for a long time to come. The only way it'll grow tall is with the burst of key released from the Nono as they become one with the tree. How do you do that? You'll need a net to catch the Nono, and he wants you to use his, but asks you to be gentle. The Nono are sensitive beings, an embodiment of key, the primal energy. This net is bigger than I am. You handle that net like you've never done anything else. He's impressed. He's grateful for all the help he can get. There's lots of Nono out there that need to be guided to the roots of the Pensai tree. Well, how many? Oh, it'll need a continuous flux of key over the 20, 12 months to come. So, countless, he'd say. The 20, 12 months? So, 20 years? One day, he hopes the tree will have grown tall enough to sustain the world. But today, your focus is getting this one to become one with the tree. Okay. Look at that, just gigantic. I <laughs> like the Kung Fu Biomutant. I love it. All right. 
let's get up here. So it, why is it so quiet, you guys? Like the there's no music going on other than the cutscene. It kind of it's weird. Come on. Yeah, no music at all. The sound effects you can hear my running and stuff. And the breeze. Oh, there you go. Now that you've seen the Nono's connection with the tree with your own eyes, you have no reason to doubt. From this day on, He'll make nurturing the Pensai into a tree of life, a life goal, not only for our village's sake, but for all of us, everyone. One day, the land won't be as peaceful. Not even your Muma will be able to protect us. You can already see the effects from how reckless those before us acted, and unless something changes, we're doomed. The land won't survive the side effects of the old world's industrial advances. He says you'd better hurry back to the village before your Muma comes looking for you. You did good here today. Yeah, I need to do that before she beats me or something. No, she's got lots on her mind and needs rest after the raid last night on the Lupin camp with her disciples. Wonders if they let the Predator family live or not. Okay, oh, that was a flashback. He lost you there for a while, but no memory is alone. It's part of a trail you can follow. <laughs> He says he remembers every single day he devoted to growing the Tree of Life, but now he's afraid it might be in vain. The tree started to die when the end of days begun, and it wasn't long after that that the World Eaters arrived. What are the World Eaters? Oh, God! The genetic evolution that occurred after the apocalypse the Toxinol Corporation inflicted on the land set the World Eater's DNA into overdrive. His friend Gizmo is working on a Mekton and needs help defeating the Jumbo Puff at the end of the West Route. Wiz is still repairing his octopod to confront the Merc Puff that dwells deep down under the surface at the end of the Northwest Route. Noko has tamed the Majut and is preparing to take on the Hoof Puff at the end of the East Route. Finally, Goop is almost done with the Goo Glide. A machine able to ride the waves of the surf all the way out to the Porky Puff at the end of the route to the southeast. That's a big map. Out of date, says his friends are gearing up to stop the World Eaters. There's one at the end of each route. The road ahead won't be easy, but he's counting on your support. His friends aren't strong enough to end this on their own. He wants you to understand that you'll all die if the tree isn't saved. How can I defeat the world eater? His friends have prepared something specific for each world eater. The Mekton, the Octopod, the Majut, and the Googlide are almost ready to ride. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war and the situation with the world eaters. Okay, I got my net. Okay. Fate of the world. Okay. So I, I, now I know I can go to each part of the map and there's like little mini bosses of that area. Okay, but what's about the middle and what about the north? 
Nothing in the middle of the north. Huh. You're getting the hang of it. Crowbar. Or crawbar. Quickest way out is through the roof where they came in. And the rope looks strong enough to climb. Okay. Not a chain this time. It's going to be a rope. Hopefully I can get some gear. That way I could, uh... Change my look. I don't like the yellow on my purple. Definitely got to get some cooler gear. I love the run. Look at that. He's like a samurai. He's a real samurai. Know that the tree of life is dying. Its days are numbered. Without help, it can't endure the environmental change and assault from the world eaters. Bio mutants. Now, what is the the world eaters? Are they humans? Are people the world eaters? I wonder. Oh, nice! There's a cool like little credits going on. Up, oh, sprint. Yeah, there are credits going on. I like that. Okay. A signpost maps it out for the cartographically challenged. And there is a narr narrator for everything. I oh, okay. What is Let's this? See. Signposts are found near locations of interest and all around the world. You'll unlock a signpost when interacting with it. You can fast travel to signposts you've unlocked. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. To open any map at any time, press okay. Okay. So the signpost there's a fast travel locations. Got it. There's a huge pipe here. I like how this is like way, way into the future after humans destroyed the planet. So all these uh, mutated animals are you know, taking over. Oh my goodness. What is that? That is huge and scary looking. Holy crap. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna make the world eater that chewed off out of date's leg. You'll need a hat trick to bring that down. That the okay, world eaters yeah. have made their marks on our world over time. You know, I'm gonna run into the uh, the waterfall area. The uh, poop. Oh no, don't think of the poop. Ugh. Wasn't worth it to get that medicine, was not worth it. Oh, ah. Uh. You gotta wash that off. That's not the first nor the last village it'll leave in its wake. That was a village? It looks like there's three houses there. That was a village? I was assuming a village would be a little bit bigger than three houses. Well, let's go see. Look, let's investigate. A survivor. Glad to see someone made it out alive. Oh, they look sad. It's a depressed survivor. Oh, God. Yeah, they're all dead. Whoa. Yeah, maybe not walk all over them. That's kind of rude. He's heard the stories about the terror inflicted by the world eaters to other enclaves, but never expected one to come all the way here. Your inner balance is two halves that completes a wholeness that flows through all things. At times, you'll be able to manifest your inner balance through deeds and dialogue choices. Few are those who always act in the same manner and our wholesomeness is, or our wholeness is the sum of the choices that we make and the actions we take. The balance of your actions create your aura score, which affects the dialogue. Okay. He worries there won't be much left to save if this continues, even if the tree of life survives the attack. He doesn't know what your connection is to this place, but something tells him you've stayed true to your heart. Interacting with captives and PSI shrines will reward you, or will award you with PSI points that you can use to unlock psionic powers. Powers can only be unlocked once you have reached the required dark or light balance. Okay, so depending on if you're a good, you're playing a good run through or a bad, an evil run through. 
That is what your power. Okay. It's almost like Fable. I like that. Anyway, he needs help and says it's by your actions you'll be judged, not by your intentions. Let me help you. He's grateful for that. You still seem to have a spark of light in you. I like how he's wearing a suit. That's a spark of light in you. What's there to like about light? It hurts to look at. Not as much as it hurts to look at you. Always making this personal. And you're always trying to pretend it's not. <laughs> okay. Okay, so you can choose both. Side points unlocked. You've gained a side point. You use it to unlock powers in the mutations menu. Some powers are locked by the aura score. Okay, yeah. I got two. Or maybe that one. There's out of date again. He must have missed something important. Oh, we better go back and talk to out of date. <laughs> out of date says you will make a better stand against the world eaters with the support of a tribe. And there are two nearby. The Myriad tribe is likely to be a good match as they act on the understanding of the greater good and have a code of honor. Regardless of who you choose, it won't be easy as the conflict between the tribes is worse than ever, teetering on the brink of war. Okay. The Myriad's conviction to stop the World Eaters began when the Leviathans rose from the depths of the surf. Siding with the Myriad's movement for wholeness in a fragmented world might seem like the logical thing to do, but is it the right thing? One thing's certain, though. Destiny arrives all the same. Where is the other tribe? The Jagni tribe there you only go. ever had one conviction to bring balance to the world by wiping out the weak. They believe a cleansing is necessary to restore the world and want to let the world eaters bring down the tree of life. But siding with Chagney isn't necessarily a bad thing. Fate will find a way. Out of date says someone needs to break the stalemate and shift the balance of power to either Jagney's or Myriad's side. He believes the tribe Sifu's, Myriad especially, will listen to you and expects you to pay at least one of them a visit and play your part. Have they already tried to attack the world leader? Myriad is convinced that defeating the world eaters is the only way the world can be saved, but they've been forced to focus on their rivalry with the Jagni tribe. Okay. They're busy fighting each other. Out of date will be waiting for you beneath the tree of life if you lose track of what you need to do. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war and the situation with the world eaters. Your current and started quests are shown in the journal. You can change which quest you track by opening the journal tab and selecting another quest. Okay. Okay. Another fork in the road. It's either the tunnel or the motor bridge. What'll it be? There's a lot of like decisions left or right. Like, huh? Oh, we have side points. Oh. Uh, character. Okay, mutations. Got it. Mutation. I am light six, dark zero. Okay, so I'm a little bit good. 
Uh, Psy powers. Upgrade resistance. Oh, let's see if we can upgrade our resistance. Oh, we can! Um. Well, let's go. Let's go. Oh, one of each. And. Oh, we only had three. Okay, so never mind. Psy powers. We have two. To use Blink, press down the input you have bound to the ability. It will teleport you to the direction you are moving and create a shockwave where you reappear. Or Blaze, use your Blaze to bound the ability. Blaze will launch you forward and leave a trail of fire behind you. Okay, we're going to use Blink first. I like Blink. Uh, it's going to be on B. Oh, so you hold down the left trigger and then hit the whatever button. Okay. This is really, this is a lot like uh, Fable. I'm liking this so far. I'm liking it so far. We have any more gear? What do we got? Inventory. Got a lot of consumables. We have our, oh, our, our net and our uh, claw bar. All right. We're actually going to go to the right. We're going to go to the good tribe. The tribe that wants to take down the world eater instead of uh, le leaving it out there to, to kill everyone. Because, I mean, ultimately, I don't know. Maybe it's, it's different for you guys. Natural tunnels like this still exist. Most of them got flooded. That narrator talks a lot. But yeah, it's not, you know, I don't know. I would rather have a lot of people survive than to kill the weak. I don't know about that. Or take the weak out. Come on. But maybe it's better for the world if the weaker... I don't know. Like the narrator was trying to say, it's not a bad or a good choice. It's just on what you want to do. Oh! Let me, let me get in here and help you out. Oh, he's a level three. A it might not be good. Woo! I'm guessing the guys in the armor are bad. Like the dark armor. Oh. Give me your armor. No? No, no, anything to pick up? Okay, come on. Nothing to pick up. Look at how beautiful. I love the art style of this game. I know I keep saying that, but man, it is beautiful. Art style is definitely a plus in this game. Wow. It's just a beautiful game. I mean, I'm guessing I'm going towards him. Yep. We're going towards the... Uh, Oh, we can place a waypoint. Got you. Okay. This area was beautiful before the tribe war began. Look at it now. It's a war zone. Literally. They have tunnels. <laughs> they have trenches. It doesn't... It, you know, there's a trench, but there's nothing going on. That's kind of weird. Yeah, there's like nothing going... There's no animals or anything? I mean, maybe this is just early. This is just a part of the map where there's a war going on, so there's nothing here. Let's see, it looks beautiful, though. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Definitely Fable-like. Man, I hope the next Fable game is like this. Myriad tribes fortress. Will they be friends or foe? You should head up there. That way you'll know. Yeah, that way I'll know. I hope the next fable looks a lot like this. It's more like the movement is more fluid. I mean, the combat feels a little stiff, but the movement is fluid. I like it a lot. Yeah, definitely. And then you have the good and bad and your armor and all that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. I just, I just marked it. That way I can use it. Uh, I guess we should go in there and talk to the myriad. 
Sifu. It's a beaten path to that door. If you go there, you'd better make an entrance. I will make an entrance. Says they're wary of strangers. They're at war. We'll be around when you return. Can I get in here? Come on. Says they're cautious of non allies. Give me, guide me to your Sifu. They don't just let anyone see the Sifu, but there's something different about you. Yeah, I'm purple. Oh, he's like a sultan. Look at that. The Myriad tribe act on understanding of the greater good and a code of honor. They believe uniting the tribes is the only way to restore the peace. The Sifu is convinced that defeating the World Eaters and saving the Tree of Life is the only way to make the world a better place. He welcomes you to the Myriad Fort and introduces himself as the tribe's Sifu. But he was hoping you'd show up. The news of a vigilante Ronin on crusade crossing the Great Wall through the crack in Bunker 101 has preceded you. Really? You knew about the Great Wall? The wall that separates them from the other side? The wasteland you came from? He guesses the time spent there just left a blank space in your memory, as empty and barren as the wasteland itself. He's convinced you've returned for a reason, and is glad you chose to come here. There's something about your spirit that sparks memories of you as a kidling. He can still sense you're kind-hearted. The Sifu says sometimes one memory can make another come to life. He hasn't thought about your Muma for ages, even though she taught him a lot. He was one of the original Wang Fu disciples. What about my mom? My Mu 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 Muma. Sorry, mispronounced that. Your Muma invented Wang Fu. Originally, it consisted of unarmed combat and the six weapons: the boomerang, the shuriken, the bow the staff, the nanchuk, and the hook and chain. The Sifu says it's time to set the past aside, at least for now. Unrest is sweeping the land, and there are rivals in all directions. Myriad wants unity between the tribes. Their goal is understanding of the greater good and establishing a code of honor. If you believe there's some good in everyone, there's still hope for tomorrow. You'll unite the tribes and defeat the world eaters to save the tree of life. Uh, they want to unite the tribes, defeat the war leader, and save the tree of life. Sets the game's end goal to save the tree of life. Choosing destiny for defeating rival Sifus is limited to unite or subdue. Oh, so the, these are... This definitely sets it up for the rest of the game. Okay. That's really interesting. Well, yeah, of course. We'll be the good guys on the first run, of course. He was hoping you'd join them. You understand that there's no harm in doing good to others. The Sifu was waiting for something to tip the balance in their favor, and with you by their side, he's confident you can unite the other tribes. The one you should coerce first is the Jagni tribe. Coerce? The Myriad were placed here to fulfill a certain purpose, chosen to unite the tribes and take control of their destiny. The tribes need a firm hand guiding them into the future. I don't know about that. Their kin have run out of options and found themselves backed into a corner. Even those who desire peace have been forced to prepare for war. At least you're at peace with yourself, I guess. 
Schleiner for Russen am Mika. They might bring them war, but they'll never take away their inner peace. He wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control. Okay, center is where they are. He says you'll regret not being on their side. The only way you'll learn their secrets, Wung Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never happen. Ooh. You both have gentle minds, so they want to wage a gentle war. A war that bonds as much as it breaks. Tells you not to be afraid. Your fate cannot be taken from you. Claim the rival outposts and earn the right to wield the tribe weapon. Once you've dealt with the rival's outposts, you'll challenge their Sifu to unite their tribe with yours and let your kin share land again. They pass the point of no return as their words lost power and see no other way forward than using violence to combat violence. Seeing you brings back his memories of the old village. Myriad wants unity between the tribes. Their goal is understanding of the greater good and establishing a code of honor. He remembers your kind and unselfish soul and can sense you still have it in you, the will to do good. Anyway, the memories you make with your family are strong and can sometimes come to life. Passing the old village on your way to the first rival outpost might help. All right, what, uh, what's the old village? Even though it's now a different place from a different time, it is a place that will make you remember. Okay. Oh, I want some of these weapons. Okay, let's keep going. Exit the Myriad Fort. Excuse me, everybody. Sorry, let me. Hey. Shine's happy that the Myriad can count on a friend as bright as you. Says you should take it easy. I will. As soon as I open this box, what is this? Uh, health pack, okay. So there are little boxes everywhere. You just gotta keep your eyes peeled. What are you talking? Wants to know how much good you think you can actually do in a ruined world. Man. Says you're welcome back. Yeah, you seem like a downer. Oh. Give me that health pack or these pills, whatever, energy pack. I'm just going around stealing. Oh, wait a minute. You're a market? Offers you extraordinary prices for extraordinary things. Well, yeah. Let's see what we got for this shop. Says they're known for their high quality goods. Worth well, thinking about. All right. Each vendor is, is specialized on a particular type of item. Melee weapon parts, ranged weapon part, parts. Oh, so you can actually make your own stuff. Okay. Gear parts, clothes, or mounts. Going to vendors and browsing their stock can be a great way to find better parts for your gear. If you're missing a specific part to craft a weapon, you can always check the nearest vendor. You can purchase items from vendors provided you have enough green, the currency, the leaf. The price of an item is listed to the right of the item. Green is gathered from specific bushes or through selling items. You're able to sell items to a vendor by going to the sell tab. Got it. Let's go to my sell tab and let's sell some stuff. Like, I could sell a lot of this stuff. I haven't been using a lot of it. So let's take the tickling toffee. Energy, yeah. Um, Let's sell some of these health patches. Um, yeah. All right. Now we're going to buy 
Melee? Oh man, you need thousands. And I only got like 120. Woo! Wait a minute. Quality defunct. Okay. Wait a minute. Can I not? Level needed. Okay, so I'm not. I'm a low enough level. I can't even get any of this stuff. All right, let's see if we can buy some parts, maybe. Oh, you still need thousands. Oh man, I'm not making enough money at all. Wow, I only have 120, and I thought it was gonna be. I was gonna be close, but not even. Holy mackerel! All right, done never mind. Done. Yeah, definitely done and done. I need to go out and make some green. All right, you buddy. You look like a cool cat. Claims to have strange things from the dead zone that are so rare they need to be seen. Well, let's see what you got. Says the place is in high demand, so no wonder you're eager to get down to business. Uh, miscellaneous. Um, Jubilee Juice. Um, wow, okay. Jubilee Juice. Clothes. Oh, wait, not, not sell. Bye. Whoa, look at these pants and clothes. Wow. Okay. And I need to be a high enough level anyway for all this stuff. Got it. All right. Yeah. And you need thousands. Thousands. And I have a hundred. <laughs> So yeah, we need to go make some money. Wow. Let's see, what are we supposed to be doing? Oh, the old village. We're we going back through the the cave. We're gonna make a, a waypoint for that. Can I even? Oh, there is a trail that goes this way, so let's check this out. Yeah, there's a lot of nothing going on. I wish there was, like, enemies or other animals, at least. It's just barren. Look at this. Just quiet. Yeah, seriously, it's just quiet. There's nothing going on. Is everyone dead because the world eater's around? Oh, we're going to check this out real fast. Maybe there's some stuff down here we can get. Like, what is that? Oh, enemies. Okay, yeah, there you go. There's the enemies. They're all level three. Right in the face. No, 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 no. Carving it up. Got him. Yeah, my melee just takes him out. Oh, wait. There's something here. Oh, why, why are we searching through poop? Oh, there better be something better than a uh, bandage. Yeah. I want to trust the bandage that's inside of a poop. Oh. Yeah, or a health pack. Better hold on to that. Yeah. I'll be sure to do that. Yeah. Seeing anything anywhere around here? Yeah, there's nothing really. Little patches here and there with enemies. All right, and there's nothing really to investigate. Like, there's no items out in the middle of nowhere, really, other than the poop items. Ugh. Let's keep going. We're gonna go through this cave system. Visit your childhood village. Okay. Oh, wait, we still we leveled up. Let's see what I could do. Oh, okay. Let's do, um, we did strength earlier. So let's do, uh, charisma. I mean, it, barter. Yeah. yeah I, mean, I don't know about that. Move speed. Yeah, let's do move speed. You got moves. You got moves. Okay. I got one. Okay, so you just unlock move 
sets, but you don't unlock, uh, like, power or anything like that. Okay. Unstoppable pig. So you just have to know the combinations. Okay. Basic melee. I think everything's unlocked. Yep, everything's unlocked. Done. Maneuvers done. Super Wong Fu. Okay. Wow. Look at how great this looks. This map is amazing. Look at this map. And they have the fog of war. That way you can't see what's actually there. Whoa. Just keep running. Oh, look. at There's a, a house or something. A building. I wonder, is there a lot of stuff off the beaten path? I bet you not. It's just quiet and nice. Yeah, see, I wish there was enemies as you were just running around. There were just constantly little enemies. Like in a Fable, I love the fact that when you're just running around on a road, there's just bandits everywhere. Or like little bugs, like mosquitoes or something like that. There's nothing really going on here. Yeah, it's just very calm. Maybe it's because it's nighttime. I don't know. Yeah, look. There's nothing... Nothing really going on here. I like the cool, calm, collected nature of it all. Oh, here's the road. It's literally a road. Okay. Then we have, is there an enemy around here? Is that why there's a barrel? No, nothing. Is there anything I can do? Nope. Literally nothing, huh? Uh, I don't want to jump off into the water. I'll probably drown. I don't think your uh, character can swim. Let's see if I can do... Nothing. Okay. Uh, and I can't cross the bridge. Okay. So how am I going to get over there? How am I going to get over there? Oh, well, uh, hopefully, yeah, there's no fall damage. Okay. Found that out the, the easy way. I thought I was going to die. <laughs> but yeah, I can't go through the water, though. Oh, let's just go along the beach, then. There's no enemies or anything. Yeah, see, there's nothing. See, there's so much of this world, which is awesome, but there's no enemies or not even enemies. If you just dotted it with random NPC like characters, that way you could talk to people who are just walking on their journey, like or have a traveling merchant or something. Oh, I have a feeling we're supposed to come through here. Oh, better beware. That's a mump up ahead. They were hit hard by evolution, the wonky ones especially, deformed and unfurred. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Dude, seriously? Oops. I am not doing any damage to this guy. Oh, it's just going a circle because he's going to destroy me if I get too close. Look at this guy. Oh, no, no, no. We're good. We're good on that. Oh, he better drop something really good because he's just taken a lot of my, uh, whoa. Not doing any damage, really. And... Energy regen. Nothing, really. You get close, you do a little bit more damage, but... Ew! Don't want to get too close. Reload. Yeah, you get a little... You okay. You do more damage the closer you get. All right. 
Dang, yeah, you gotta be up in the air. Go, go. Oh. I don't like that there's no lock on, really. There's like a soft lock. Like, if you're looking in the direction, it'll kind of lock, but not really. Dang. Yeah, see how it like kind of slowly locks on, but you have to you have to keep your camera. You have to manually move your camera, which kind of sucks when you try to do other uh, attacks while you're doing that. So it kind of limits you, really. Oh, let's see what he got. Do you have anything good? You're a big guy. Um, uh, that's it. That's it. I mean, I guess he gave me a lot of uh, health. I guess. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, what? What is this? Good stuff. Uh, health regen. That was it. Okay. Really? I mean, I guess you have to run into that character, that uh, little mini boss. So, of course, yeah, they probably made it really easy. At least at first. Wait. Wow, yeah, you gotta really look. Because you don't know what is gonna actually be a chest. It could be a, the trunk of a car or a garbage bin. Okay. See what's going on here. Oh, we have a fast travel. Lost on this place, but it evokes a tingling sensation. There's something special about it, drawing you closer. Okay, he's very excited about that. Drawing you closer in. It's a full moon with a power line. Mark this thing. Oh, he literally marked it. Oh, I didn't realize that the first time. He's peeing on him. <laughs> oh my god, okay. You are here. Awesome. Well, hopefully you guys liked this episode. If you did, hit that like button for me, and I will see you guys in the next one.